What do you think this is? If you said a coffee cup, you're wrong. It's a training aid which will get you to hit the golf ball like you've never hit it before. And trust me, once you can make this move and you do this little exercise, it's going to feel phenomenal off the club face. And you're going to be searching for that feeling over and over again. We play the game for fun, right? We're out there, weekend warriors, golf should be enjoyable. And once you can do this and make this move, the game will be far more enjoyable, trust me, because it will feel incredible off the club face. You'll probably hit it straighter. You'll definitely hit it longer and you're gonna be starting to compress the golf ball more. So what is compression? Well, compression really is basically how much the golf ball gets squeezed onto the club face. So think about attack angle. That is the direction that the club is traveling in. So let's say it's level with the ground, this, this way. This club has got a certain amount of loft. So if I struck the golf ball, I've got the loft pointing up, the club traveling level, that angle is basically my compression. If I was able to produce less lofted impact, I've narrowed that angle. So even though the club is still traveling level with the ground, I've de-lofted the club, I've narrowed the angle, that golf ball is gonna be compressed on the club face more. Now, when you compress it more, it comes off with more speed. It feels better. And trust me, once you hit shots like this, you're gonna be searching for that feeling over and over again. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can compress the golf ball. However, when we are trying to compress it, there's one really, really big problem that holds so many golfers back. So what is that big problem? Well, if you look at that little demonstration that we did, in order to get compression or more compression, I basically had to lean the club shaft forwards. And I'm sure if you've watched great players, you're gonna see this when they're hitting iron shots. They always hit the golf ball with the club shaft lent forwards and basically the more that you can lean the club shaft forwards the more likely it is that you're going to be able to achieve that compression so why is that a big problem well if i just took my setup here and just sort of pointed the grip towards my sort of belt buckle that club face now is perfectly square okay grooves or leading edge are vertical as i push the handle forwards what does that do to the club face well it opens it if i simply push my hands forwards the face opens. So I haven't improved or given myself more compression, I've just basically pointed the club face more to the right. So handle forwards opens the face. Now, if I ask you a question of, if we look at club face orientation through the goal sink, you've got three options. You've got pretty square, closed or open. What would you say, or what do you think is the most common of those when we look at the amateur game? It's open, right? Most amateur golfers who really struggle, struggle because they get the face open. Whether that's open at the top of the backswing or in the early downswing, doesn't really matter, but the face is open. So if you're watching this and you're you know, not hitting your irons as solid as you'd like, there's a very good chance that you'll have the club face too open. So if you simply try to take an open club face and push the hands further forwards, guess what? You're making it worse you're just gonna hit the ball further off to the right. You're gonna hit it higher and it's not gonna go anywhere near target. So if you have the club face open, your best option is to deliver the handle further back. But actually that takes our compression and it reduces it. And we don't get those really nice solid shots that we spoke about at the start. So what if there was a drill which enabled you to do all of those things? There is, and that's why we're gonna use that coffee cup. Starting to rain, we're gonna push through. Now, I'm gonna just change my golf club over here. Now, I actually can't claim to have invented this drill. I actually got this from another great coach called Andrew Rice. I saw him post this on maybe Twitter. So Andrew, really appreciate that. I'm gonna steal your training drill, but it's fantastic. So I've taken my seven iron. I've put a pointer on the club face here. If you haven't got one of these, which you might be not, a straw or something, just get a little creative, but attach something right to the sweet spot of your seven iron. So if I took that coffee cup, and placed it on the ground, open side back here. As I set my golf club behind it, you can see how the pointer points above the coffee cup. So if I make this sort of backswing and downswing and have this really flippy release that so many of you will have, I get back to a position which is very similar. Here's my impact, you can see the hands aren't great, the pointer is above. Now, if I simply try to have my hands more forwards, all that happens is that pointer points out to the right. That's not really what we want, but we do want the hands forward. So how do I get the hands forwards 
and the point in the right place. Well, your little goal, your little exercise is to take a setup. And you can see here as I take a set at the point to rest on top of that cup. And my goal is from the top, I'm gonna to make a movement towards impact where I'm trying to take that pointer and I'm trying to collect that coffee cup. This is, trust me, going to be an eye-opening drill for so many of you. Now, I can tell you what you will need to do in order to achieve that, which I will do in a moment, but even if I didn't, just doing this and just going out there and just taking this little device on your club and just placing something on the ground and just figuring out how to do it is absolutely valuable for your game. Because what I have to do in order to pick that coffee cup up is I have to have the handle forwards. If it isn't forwards, I can't pick it up. But as the handle is forwards, I also have to twist the golf club. It's that twist, this is the key move for you to get that compression and still hit the ball at target. Just look if I put the pointer down here, hands forwards, doesn't change where it points, twist the wrist, points back at target and lower. So I can literally just stand here, need to make sure the coffee cup is aligned correctly. I'm gonna go back and I'm be going to down and I can really feel already that I've got to try and twist that pointer down towards the ground as I have my hands forwards and collect that coffee cup. And I can keep it all the way through to this part of my goal swing here, keeping it on that pointer. What I don't want to do is continue to twist and twist and twist and twist and twist. Because if I do that, there's a chance that it will go way off to the left. So let me just show you that again. And I absolutely would encourage you to go and try this drill. It's fantastic. Andrew, this is one of the best drills I've seen for kind of understanding how to take a club at the top and moving it into impact. Hands forward, twist the face, collect the coffee cup. And I can just go ahead and make those little movements. Okay, that was good, I just went a little bit too fast. If I took a setup here, look at my wrist, you can see how it's kind of cupped. If I simply went to a perfect impact, the hands would be forward and my wrist would be flat. Those are the two non-negotiables. A little quick note on, on practice, and this is really important for you actually trying to develop your goal thing. Putting the pointer on your golf club and picking up a cup isn't gonna change your goal thing. It's a slow drill, there's no speed, there's no force. What it is gonna do for you is gonna get you to really understand what you need to do and create your own feels. And they are the correct feels, that's what the drill is for. So when you do that little drill with a coffee cup, you have just created the exact feels that you need in your goal swing. It's then your job to take the golf club and add those feelings in. Okay, the coffee cup alone won't change your goal swing, but it's going to give you exactly the feelings that you need to start to hit your irons really, really solid. Once I've done a couple of those and I'm getting that ball flight that I want, then all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna build the speed up. So now, I'm gonna go pretty much full speed if that coffee cup doesn't blow into my way. 